Out of UCSB six Nobel laureates spoke to a full house at UCSB tonight. It was part of a free lecture series, and the topic was light. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tracy, folks may not know his name, but they certainly know his work. That's right, CJ. I took a picture of Professor Nakamura tonight, and the reason I can see it on my cell phone is because of one of his inventions. And he turned out to be one of the most popular arts and lecture speakers. Students didn't pack UCSB's Campbell Hall for extra credit. They wanted to listen and learn from one of their most esteemed professors. It's just amazing to see one of our faculty members win a Nobel Prize. And um, I don't know, I'm just interested in LEDs and everything he has to say. And we all just know about his accomplishments and we all talk about him, so I just figured it's a great opportunity to come and learn more. While earning his PhD, Shuji Nakamura told the crowd he studied the less popular gallium nitrate while others were betting on zinc selenide. I never expected I should invent it, but it's just I should have <laughs> Nakamura pioneered the blue light emitting diodes, laser, and solid state lighting and holds hundreds of patents. <laughs> 23 years after his research, the electrical engineer from Japan won the 2014 Nobel Prize for Physics. Everything from cell phones to cars to agriculture has benefited. And the next is a smartphone and iPhone, iPad. So based on all mobile devices, it's a, it's a He's our biggest market. His inventions are destined to replace Thomas Edison's light bulb, and scientists say they are so affordable and energy efficient that they will save the world billions of dollars in energy costs. The 60-year-old and his large research team are still hard at work working on the next generation of LEDs. And he's pretty sure that his invention will help 1.5 billion people that are without electricity around the world with tiny lights that they can use that are affordable and don't take up a lot of energy. In addition, he has a new book out that's fittingly titled Brilliant. You can get it at Chaucer's Books in Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank